Hi there, I'm going to show you how to start a limited liability company in Indiana. The Secretary of State has made it really simple for people to file with an online filing portal in which you can submit your business information in just a short sitting. They have also provided PDF applications for anyone who would like to file through the mail, which you can download and file to the address located in our tutorial. We will show you that in just a few moments. But before filing, we recommend that all filers perform a business entity search. And this step is important to check the availability of your business name. If you file with the Secretary of State using a business name that's already in use, then your application will unfortunately be rejected. Click on this link here to find out how to perform a business entity search. And if you wish, you can file a name reservation application to reserve your business name for a period of, I believe, 120 days. And um, you can file this either for free through the mail or an expedited um, filing service can be done online, and this will cost $10. Click on this link here to find out how to perform a name reservation. The actual filing process will begin by you selecting either the domestic or foreign LLC links here. And these will take you to our more in-depth tutorials where we will walk you through each step of the filing procedure. Essentially what you're going to do is log on to your online account, and this is for, of course, online filers only, you're going to log on to an online account, which you will need to create beforehand, and we have provided instructions for this within um, these respective links here. But once you log on, you're going to submit your business information from your computer. You will then eventually pay a filing fee, which you can pay by credit card, debit card, or e-check. The filing fees are located up here, and um, once this has been paid, your application will be officially submitted to the Secretary of State and you'll have to await confirmation from them. If you're filing through the mail, you're going to download the PDF application, you're going to submit your business information from your computer, print off the application, sign it, and send it to the address located here. If you are a foreign applicant, so if you are filing for registration in Indiana from outside of Indiana, then you will be required to include a certificate of existence or a similar document issued from the initial jurisdiction of formation. And that needs to be included with your filings when you mail it to this address. So that's it for filing. As I said, really straightforward. Um, it shouldn't take you too long, especially if you use the online filing service. Um, definitely the recommended choice. A couple things to mention though before I sign off that we have in the tips section here, a couple pieces of information that are pretty important. To start, we have the EIN or employer identification number, and this number is used by the IRS to identify businesses for tax purposes. It's not required for all LLCs, though if your LLC plans on hiring employees, registering for bank accounts, or applying for large business loans, then you will be required to um, obtain the EIN. And you can apply for this number for free, both online or through the mail, and you can find out how to do that by clicking on this link here. The operating agreement is not um, legally required in Indiana, though highly recommended, as it can greatly strengthen the organizational structure of your um, internal affairs. And this document can be used to define any number of provisions that were left undocumented during the initial registration uh, procedure. Certain things like general meeting times or the rules and regulations that must be followed by all members can be defined with this document. And you can down download this document for free in both Microsoft Word and PDF formats by clicking on this link here. And lastly, all LLCs will be required to file a business entity report to the Secretary of State to update um, the general business information that has occurred um, or that has changed over the course of, uh, I believe, a year. And um, sometimes you have to file every two years, depending on which type of uh, entity you're filing as though um, this process can be accomplished online or through the mail and filing online will require you to have an account as mentioned before um, an account is necessary for the online filing of a uh, LLC so if you filed online already then there's no worries because you'll already have an account and you can find out how to do that by clicking here if you do not have an account or if you'd like to just file through the mail we have provided the PDF application here, which you can send to the same address as before, the Secretary of State address located here. And uh, that's it. This uh, process shouldn't take you too long to accomplish. Hopefully this tutorial was beneficial and useful. All right, take care.